Good afternoon, I'm Akshay Mystery and this is the news at 12.30. Dozens of fans are expected to turn up for actor Gordon Kay's funeral service today. The Huddersfield-born actor was best known for playing René Artois in the long-running sitcom Hello Hello. The service is currently being held at St Peter's Church in the town centre. Producer and friend Charles Garland will be giving the eulogy and a medley of Gilbert and Sullivan songs will be played. Mr Kay died on January the 23rd, aged 75. Now, are you curious as to what causes heart disease? A lecturer at the University of Huddersfield is currently pioneering a project which, if successful, aims to give more information on life-threatening diseases. The project is made possible due to a £10,000 grant from the Ergo Foundation, which intends to help doctors identify the symptoms of respiratory problems such as heart failure and heart disease. The grant will enable the construction of a digital database which will be used to record the sounds of blood flow within the lower limbs helping to potentially save lives. The grant will enable the construction of a digital database which records sounds from lower limbs such as the legs and feet. The database will monitor the sounds that are made when the heart pumps blood. To the average person the experiment is complex and difficult to comprehend but experts have predicted that the project could be used by medical professionals on a daily basis to save money and lives. It has been revealed that the UK is spending less on tobacco and alcohol. Figures released by the Office for National Statistics shows expenditure on the items continually fell over the last year to just £11.40 per week. However, bars and restaurants are enjoying their highest takings in over five years. The average family is now spending around £45 a week in eating in stub establishments. It seems whilst people are dining out more, they are less likely to consume alcohol. We get quite a bit of a lunchtime rush, especially from the students because we're so close to the university. And uh, a lot of them would just get cheese and coffees. And we also have like filter coffee, like refillable cups that you pay 50 pounds to get um, refilled coffee for the rest of the year. So that's become really, really popular. Like I would serve about 10 coffees, just free refillables ones. And then, so yeah, we don't really get much alcohol during the day, only by older customers. But mostly students, it's all just... Cooks, coffee, tea. The government has recently announced that 360 companies across the UK aren't paying either the national minimum wage or the national living wage. There are four businesses in Huddersfield that have been named, including the Calderdale and Huddersfield NHS Foundation Trust and the Bake Shack. In total, 12 workers from these companies are owed £14,000 between them. And in sport, Huddersfield Town has been hit with FA Cup fever ahead of their fixture against Premier League giants Manchester City. The game at the John Smith Stadium kicks off at 3pm tomorrow and there is expected to be a sellout crowd of more than 24,000 people. Manager David Wagner says the fixture is a landmark game for his side. In the FA Cup, the oldest football competition in the world, so uh, we are still involved. We are happy about this and we will try for sure our best to be successful and it's great to play this game in a different competition so with every freedom in the rugby league the Huddersfield Giants were beaten by Salford Red Devils last night in a game that ended 30-20 Gareth O'Brien scored 22 points in the Super League clash played at the John Smith Stadium that's all for now join us again at half past three for your next program goodbye